What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video on Conflux. I uh, wanted to do an update on that because it's, uh, well, it's been a couple of days. It was requested quite a bit. Um, so I just wanted to give you my thoughts. And apart from that, Conflux right now is also in an interesting position um, where uh, we actually have been holding up fairly well. I mean, in the end, we did get a little bit of a bearish breakout or a bearish break at the very least, but we dropped down to the 3A2 FIP. And we held that. So technically we are still, I would not say bullish. On the short term, we are bullish. On the on the long term, if you zoom out, we're still mm, a little bit neutral perhaps. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, 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 to talk about what's possible from here. We reached 33 cents earlier this, uh, this week. Can we actually get back up there? Can we get higher than that? Can we get some sort of a sustained uptrend? That's what we'll talk about. Now, before we get into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, uh, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment and there you'll find instructions on how to join. Now on to Conflux. Um, so the thing is, is that right now we're actually getting a little bit of bullish momentum from the markets. All right. I believe Bitcoin at least has a little bit of bullish momentum left uh, and that matters. That matters for Conflux as well. All right. So that's because of the correlation in the market. That's just so, something you should uh, you should know. And then apart from that, Conflux, like I said, I mean, right now the market structure is, is a bit weird because you can see um, this could be the start of a reversal. Um, we have been in a downtrend since uh, Tuesday, the 11th of April. And then we dropped down to this level here around 25, 24 cents. And then from there, we started getting bullish breakouts again. We've had that before right here, uh, the 25th of April. Here you can also see we started breaking above uh, the EMAs and stuff. Uh, but then the market was also quite bullish was during this period of time and right now the market is not that bullish even though i expect some more bullish momentum and we're still at those levels so that's a good thing uh, we've broken above the 200 ema and right now i would say the most important level for conflicts is this level right here 31 cents we found resistance there earlier today uh, with with the with the previous candle you can probably barely see that on the chart but we need to break above that because we found resistance at 33 cents now we need to continue making higher lows and actually making higher highs and i think that if we can actually break above uh, 30 31 cents right now which i do expect because we i mean this like i said i expect bullish momentum from bitcoin but apart from that also this that, that we have found support at the 100 ema and the 200 ema and the 3a2 fib what that signals is that we are trending um, and because they are support touches, I can only assume that it's a little bit of an uptrend. Now, how long that uptrend is going to uh, go on for, that's a good question. It might just stop when we reach 34 cents, right? That's a possibility. But for now, I think we're actually trending up. Um, so the big thing is, can we break above 31 cents? It's going pretty quickly. I think we can. Uh, if we do break above 31 cents, we'll get up to the level around 33 and 34 cents. And then from there, we'll see again, frankly, because in the end, I know most of you would like to see it go to 37 cents. And that's a possibility. But for that, I do think we would need to get Bitcoin all the way up to 28,000, which is also a possibility. Um, but it's, it's going to be quite hard. So if conflicts rallies a lot today, I'll still do some sort of an emergency update. Uh, but for now, this is my main take. And if we're not able to break above 31 cents, then we better stay on top of tw uh, uh, 29 and a half cents. Uh, because if we if, if we find resistance at, at 31 and we drop down all the way to like 28 and a half cents again then we might be in a little bit of trouble and then we might just continue to drop back down like the trend we've been in but like i said it, it, it's not something i expect but it's something i want to warn you for and just want to make sure that that you know that it's important that we break above 31 cents but that's my take on it for now if you do have any questions let me know but for now thank you for watching take care and bye